Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. Uh, before I go to the reading, I just wanted to say I am sorry yesterday I didn't post any videos. I started a brand new challenge and I will put the link in the description box. It's, um, I am an energy healer, coach, spiritual guide and also a starseed. And uh, here on YouTube and on TikTok I am doing love readings, but I do so much more. And... Uh, this is a TV show on Gnostic TV, which um, I started, and my first show is about me being a starseed and how I help people through soul alchemy. So if you wish to have a peek in, there is a trailer in the description box, and also you can go to watch the full show on Gnostic TV. So I already started your reading. This is about what, who you don't see coming. And this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And uh, just wanted to um, show you what came out because I did not want to restart the reading because it's a very important message here. So um, this hunger is the bottom of the deck, which is showing your current energy. It is something to do with getting into alignment. 2 plus 9 is 11. <clears throat> it's a 29 energy. 2 is working on yourself. 9 is making progress. And as a result, you are coming into alignment with yourself. But there is something or someone who is missing from your full picture. And this hunger is... Um, Showing up strong right now. Okay, let's see what else. The Phoenix, Wisdom, and Darkness. Okay, let's go with that. So this is your current energy. And the way you got to there is we've got two fours here, 40 and 22, 2 plus 2 is 4, darkness and wisdom. So it's almost like since the new moon, you came the long, a long way. Maybe you felt like you knew which way to go, what is your path before, but you didn't know how to get there because it was dark. And now you've got the wisdom you understand um, your path. Maybe you don't know exactly what to do, but you have this inner knowing awakening within you and you found a brand new balance. It's almost like the physical and the spiritual are getting into balance uh, within you and around you and you are reaching up to the sky, to the stars. And then comes the Phoenix 29. We've got two 29 energies here, 29 and 29, two different decks. One is the hunger, the other one is the phoenix. So in this context, it looks like that um, it's, it's possibly your inner masculine and this is your inner feminine. So some parts of you, you already managed to rebirth, but there is some part of you which is um, just about, about to coming back to life. This is like spring uh, um, shot there with the tree starting to uh, bring buds. And um, I am feeling that you are missing someone, a masculine energy, could be in a female body, and um, that's where this hunger is coming from. So you are almost there, but not everything is in place just yet. And then we've got the Lady of Lightning. That's what you don't see coming. Let me just try to see if I can get a bit more light on things. And I still can see what I am doing. Okay, right. So this Lady of Lightning is about surprises, shock, and the paradigm shift. And it is a number 35 energy. 3 plus 5 is 8. So something is shifting big time within you. And you are shifting from hunger 
to this surprise. So let's see what this surprise is about. Okay. What is showing up is this was the energy of will, another number for one plus three coming up. So you, you desperately wanted to find balance. You felt out of balance. And then you had a realization shifting from the dark into the light. This literally just sums up what we have seen earlier. And uh, that brought you some patience. So this is very cool with, between these two cards. It's three, it's 36. Three is ex emotions, expressing them, connecting with them. Six is connecting with your heart. So when you broke through from the dark to the light, you actually broke through the matrix as well. You went from uh, seeing yourself as a human to seeing yourself in the universe, in the big picture as a soul, spirit with a human body and realized that this person you are missing, this connection you are missing is, um, is there all the time in the energetic realm, in the universe. You might not be together physically, but um, in energetically you are connected okay and and I feel this is significant that you are in this phoenix energy this is also talking about you and your person so you managed to rebirth yourself you healed and they are still yearning and craving for you they haven't gone through this process of um um, what is that word? Purging. Purging. Yeah. So let's look into what exactly this means. What is this surprise, this shift about? So I do feel it is you shifting spiritually, connecting more with your heart. Seeing yourself as a soul, not just as a physical body, which is a giant shift. Let's see. What is this patience energy about? Okay, very interesting. Wow, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords, and the Sun showing up at once. And the Five of Wands at the bottom. So I feel that you gave up the fight and this fight was possibly trying to push your person away, trying to shut down your feelings towards this person from within. And um, there is a change, the, the Wheel of Fortune, absolutely a shift coming. Seven of Swords and the Sun. So it could be illusions that you were living in maybe you thought that you can push this down that you are okay uh, without this person but um, okay the best way to describe this is you shut away your love towards someone in your heart you shut it down I'm not saying your entire heart was shut down, but the place where you put this feeling is com was completely locked away. And it made you feel okay, possibly it needed so you could move forward. But now it became restricting and limiting and feeling like something is not in balance, not right. And the moment you open these gates within your heart and allow that love to flow freely, to accept that doesn't matter how it looks like in the physical, this is how I truly feel, you opened up this sun, uh, the sunshine was <laughs> streaming in through that door. And uh, maybe the two of you are, um, energetically 
coming towards each other. So whilst you were shutting yourself away from this feeling, you didn't feel that. But the moment you opened the door to the sunshine, uh, that um, it's almost like uh, you two reconnected um, again. And um, I'm not saying in the physical, but energetically, this is what's happening. I really need to sort this out because it's very much bothers me so let's just take it away i know it's changing the light here um so that's a giant shift you could be dealing with the leo or a sagittarius and uh, this is about a past hurt so you see you still have love towards someone who hurt you very very deeply and um, you believe that the two of you are in each other's life for a very good reason, for higher learning, for healing. You could be dealing with the Taurus. And you also realize that although you broke up, you are strong, you grew a lot, you are connecting with your higher self, you are in alignment in a sense and um, you know that this feeling is not going to go away. Doesn't matter how it turns out in the physical. So Aries also is in the picture. Let's look into this lady of lightning. What is going to be a surprise for you? I think the surprise is that now you opened that gate, you feel free, you feel happy, and you were like, Oh my God, I can breathe again. So this self-realization um, is actually going to bring freedom for you. This is the realization. Uh, freedom in a sense of, yeah, okay, I can feel this way. No one needs to know, but this is how I feel. And... Um, so what this lightning, Lady of Lightning means is maybe by opening the door in your heart, you are bringing in your person energetically in the physical as well. And uh, it may offer a new beginning, 10 of ones at the bottom, full right there. Even if you feel like it's uh, over and done with it will create a new chapter in your life because now you are free and uh, you feel free to feel the way you want to feel and it's okay to not to be with your person it's okay to feel this amazing bond between the two of you and just let it be no control just uh, releasing control so that's the total paradigm shift, which you are surprised about because you didn't think these feelings will come up again. You didn't think you will feel so free after you are admitting these feelings to yourself. And it may, may not bring in your person in the physical. So let's see how likely is that something is going to shift in the physical as well because this energetic shift is quite big and you allow yourself to feel happy again and you feel that you can balance this side out yourself okay so what spirit is showing is the x Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So that's what happened. And now we've got engagement ring. Partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Sorry about that. So, um, okay, this is... Uh, This is a craving. This this isn't um, what actually is happening. And this union, well, it is happening. 
in the energy world. So now you allowed yourself out of that prison in regards to the feelings towards this person energetically you are reuniting so in the 5d you are coming together and that's where this feeling of happiness is coming from but this is not in the physical okay so what, what can you expect in the physical? What, what is the outcome in the physical? And then we are going to look at this deeper at the, in the extended. Yeah, in the physical, it is that you walked away and you still have an enormous amount of love towards this person. That's the physical. And what about their side? They are in the Eight of Swords energy. Wow. They are thinking about a new beginning with you. Eight of Swords and the Chariot. So they are not sure how to approach you, but they want to move forward with you. So this shift actually is creating big waves, not just in the energy world, but in your physical world as well. So you walked away, they want to come in. The shift, being honest about your feelings and how you truly feel, is created this. So, um, I don't know whether you actually want to get back this person or not, but they definitely are thinking about coming back in. So, they're cool. You could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. I don't know whether I said that earlier. And um, we also have the Cancer energy showing up now. I'm going to continue this on Patreon to look into your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions. And, you know, you have your free will. If you don't want to accept this person back, it's perfectly entirely up to you. But this is what you didn't see coming, that you will feel free and happy when you allow your feelings to be felt by yourself and after that everything is done to you how you would like to proceed with this thank you so much for being here i am sending you so much love take care bye for now